Hi everybody, my name is Shant and Jetty, and you're watching Shant and Jetty Art. So I have a favor to ask of all of you guys, because people keep asking me this question about, um, so there's not a lot of people who do fully painted comics anymore. And I go down the list of people, and I've been thinking about all the folks who've done fully painted comic books. And uh, I know John J. Muth, Alex Ross, all of these different creators. Uh, in particular, Richard Corbin, who I'm a big fan of. But I've come back to this, this question I have, and I need your help to help me to answer it, because I'm not sure if this is true, but I'm beginning to wonder if it is true. So maybe I'm wrong, but here it goes. My question for you guys is this. Am I the first American to do a fully painted, creator-owned, independent superhero comic? I mean, and if you want to make it really specific, even more specific than that, the question is, for adults, for adult audiences. I know there have been fully painted comics. I know there have been fully painted superhero comics owned by, you know, corporations or legacy characters or whatever you want to call it. But it just dawned on me that I've been saying for a long time that this is the first fully painted, you know, superhero comic in this particular space. But as I kept looking to see if there were more examples of pulp superhero characters that were original, creator-owned, independent, and fully painted, I'm not finding any. And I'm certainly wondering if there's American artists who are doing this. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I think this might be the case. Uh, the biggest reason is there weren't... It was so expensive to photograph and reproduce artwork that it just made sense that it would be penciled and inked. And I know there are creator-owned comic books where people would dabble in painted panels or painted pages or do pen and ink and some digital coloring and all of that kind of stuff. But I mean a comic that, in its inception, is intended to be fully painted. So it's not, you know, just uh, got a, a painted element to it, but it is straight up fully painted on board. And it, it was interesting to me because I don't have an answer to this. I don't. I think of things like, you know, well, maybe Sam Keith's the Max, and then I'm, I think, well, it started out as, as digital colors, and, you know, there's all these other aspects to it. But I don't know if anybody's ever launched a creation. That was, again, fully painted, creator-owned, independent superhero comic book. Certainly not an American. So I'm curious. I can't come up with anybody. And maybe that's, you know, that, that I just can't think of it. But I know my comic history pretty well. And uh, I mean, maybe not as well as I think I do. But uh, if, if you guys come up with an answer for that. But the question I've kept coming back to is, this book, one way or another, based on, on what's going on, it, is a pretty big deal to me. And I think it's a pretty big deal in our space. And so if you haven't shouted from the rooftops, go check out Nosferu. Make sure you go and do that now. But the question I come back to is, is this book even more unique or in a more rarefied air than I thought it was originally? And this just comes out of me doing what I do naturally. I've self-published and fulfilled two art books in the past, and that started me painting. I did a couple of painted comic book pages, actually, in my second art book, which some of you guys backed that tier, which is sold out now. And I was thinking about this, and I, I, I said, well, when I go to do my book, what are the people who followed me on Instagram? Uh, if you haven't yet, feel free to go over there and follow me on Instagram. I think I have something like 30,000 uh, followers right now over there. But the question is, is that I never really thought about it outside of, this is what people know me for. This is what I'm going to do. I want to make a pulp adventure comic. Lean, mean, low page count, high plot, 33 pages of incredible painted artwork, which is an insane feat to try to do. I get why not a lot of people do fully painted comics. It is so time consuming. There's so much involved. Uh, and uh, I, I think it is... <laughs> that's why you see artists like Alex Ross not going the fully painted route on these massive projects because they, they take a while. He's done it. It's fantastic. Uh, I know he's even done, you know, some Astro City stuff, but um, I don't think he, he fully painted that, and that's co-created with somebody. So I'm I'm kind of curious with this this question I have. Is this the case? And if it is the case, awesome. Awesome. I'm just doing what I do, working hard. We are now, uh, gosh, almost 10 days, uh, just over 10 days out from me getting this to the letter, the amazing Eric Weathers, and then it's going to be tune up, fine tuning this thing, and then going to the printers and seeing what kind of deals we can get there. But if you guys have an answer to this question, 
right? And and I'm not talking about anything outside this specific thing. So am I the first American artist to do a fully painted, creator-owned, independent superhero comic? I know that sounds specific, but it's kind of a big deal. So please let me know in the comments if you have an answer to that. And, um, I mean, shoot, I know if it was Todd McFarlane, he'd just go, yeah. <laughs> I love Todd, if you can't tell. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I'd be like, this is the first independent comic to exist. But in my case, I feel pretty confident saying it's, it's possible. Uh, and if it's not completely the case, then it's got to be close to the case. So please let me know in the comments section what you think, uh, if you can think of anything that's in this category. But I need your help, so let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to keep promoting this comic book, and I'm going to promote it with that, because I think it's kind of a big deal. Not just because it's a beautifully painted book, not just because of, of the quality, and it's a story with a lot of heart and a lot of pulp uh, elements to it. It's Like I said, it's, it's not something that's going to be a... Uh, a deep meditation on what life would be like to you if you were a tomato. This is a book that you read, and it's a fun, entertaining, uh, sumptuous, dare I say, um, sexy, mysterious, and uh, danger at every turn comic book. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I do live streams all the time. And go check out Nosferu and back it on Indiegogo. The link is in the description. And take care, everybody. And thank you in advance for your help. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. That's how we get things moving. So as always, speak easy, stay gold, and keep the faith.